Hey everybody, this is Matt with remove-malware.com and tonight I'm going to go ahead and take a look at ESET Smart Security 4.0. This just came out less than a month ago and I kind of want to go over what ESET Smart, Smart Security does for you just so there's no questions. Uh, taken from their website it says ESET Smart Security detects disables both known and unknown viruses, trojans, worms, adware, spyware, rootkits, and other internet threats. Um, some other things that uh, the smart security product does, uh, of course they say antivirus, anti-spyware, firewall, anti-spam. I am going to be testing smart security 4 on my brand new test box. Now this box may look um, not as infected as the other computer that you're used to seeing me test on but let me assure you that this is much worse uh, we're dealing with uh, some pretty hardcore rootkits on this box um, this uh, rootkit or rootkits that I have on here um, download uh, all kinds of malware in the background constantly um, you're not able to um, get rid of the malware unless you uh, get rid of the rootkit. So what we're looking for, um, we're trying to clean up this PC as much as possible with uh, ESET Smart Security and um, it'd be nice if it got rid of the rootkit so we don't have to constantly block malware all day. So I've just downloaded a free demo of um, ESET Smart Security 4 and it's right here and if I right click on the file click properties oh by the way I am uh, running I am doing this review on a backup PC my main PC is too busy right now so um, I hope that uh, the audio and the video keep in sync so if not I'm sorry anyway uh, it's a 33.7 megabyte installer um, for this review I'm gonna go ahead and set up ESET I'm gonna go ahead and customize it and set it up for the best possible protection uh, most of the ESET users I've met so far are somewhat computer knowledgeable. Um, the home users I'm talking about, they, they kind of know how to use their computer and they know how to kind of work with ESET. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up just like they do. When I was down in South America, I don't know what the deal was. It was Panda and ESET um, all over the place. So It's very big in South America. I'm going to go ahead and do a custom install. Choose the default path. Um, this username and password, they require this uh, for updates, which is pretty annoying, but I'll go ahead and pause the video. Actually, I don't need to. Let me just grab it out of my Gmail here. Yeah, hang on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pop in this uh, username. And password. Uh, proxy server. Uh, I do not use a proxy server. And we're going to go ahead and install um, program components. I'm not going to protect my um, install with a password. That is really annoying, by the way. Anytime you make a change, you have to put in your password. Uh, enable threats, Threat Sense. Early warning system, ThreatSense.net is the best way to help ESET protect you. Uh, 
basically you provide them info and we are going to enable detection of potentially unwanted applications uh, on the firewall I'm going to say um, interactive mode and install uh, a lot of the malware I've been seeing this month is very destructive. Um, they've been patching critical system files and they've been deleting critical system files and I have uh, this mis this machine is actually um, is has most of the system files on here have been patched uh, a lot of the big ones like win logon uh, user init a lot of those have been patched and that requires you to have your original Windows disk because you have to run a command called SFC slash scan now to uh, fix those files otherwise uh, next time you reboot you may never actually be able to log in or um, reboot so make sure you have your Windows disk on hand uh, I'll probably have to use it on this review. And I have not tried that yet on this review, so hopefully uh, uh, we can do this. Get our PC running. Anyway, I have tested out uh, ESET Smart Security 4 about three or four times now, so I sort of know the ending, uh, but it's changed each time a little bit. so. This is the first machine I've I've ever tested that has some pretty hardcore malware on there. Uh, it's not your run-of-the-mill uh, fake security alerts. Um, this is this is real deal, real deal stuff. It's it's tough to deal with. Um, it's it's almost near the point where it requires a bootable um, anti-malware disk, which ESET allows you to build. By the way, whether they can detect everything or not, that is another question. We're always looking for the best package that uh, detects the most and gets rid of it and protects you. Uh, so far, we've all learned that no, nah, there is no single package that really comes close to doing that. There's a few. I mean, some of my favorites. For, well, for for prevention, I just use Defense Wall. Um, but I'm an experienced user, and Defense Wall really works for me. Uh, if you're not experienced, the next um, internet security packages that I've used this year that I really like are Kaspersky Internet Security and Norton Internet Security 2009 is awesome as well. Um, again, uh, there's another one, Komodo Internet Security. Awesome uh, user base there, but uh, requires a, you to be a little bit more savvy. Anyway, ESET has uh, finished installing. And I love their little graphic of uh, the iRobot guy. <laughs> Not sure why they continuously stick with that, but it, it's pretty cool. Okay, so now we automatically have outbound traffic going to some, you know, weird remote IP address. That's At this point, I'm just going to allow, unfortunately, I'm going to allow some stuff because I need to do an update. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'll just go ahead and deny it. Remember action, deny. Okay, we found um, something caught by the ESET uh, heuristics. And we'll say, uh, we'll go ahead and delete it. We'll go ahead and allow user init to get out. Oh no, uh, it's going out to myself on port 7171. I've dealt with this malware this month and it's just really annoying. I'll go ahead and um, just allow it for now. Actually, no. What am I doing? I'll deny it for now. And deny. Deny. No, I don't want to reboot yet. Um, I really don't want to reboot because of some of the malware on here. 
um, like I said, have pa it's patched some of my system files and I need to run a uh, system file checker before I reboot. Okay, not a whole lot of alerts. Um, just one so far. We're going to go ahead and update the uh, ESET Uh, database, but we can't. If I try to update it, I can't because our internet connection is controlled by malware at this point, and we need to temporarily disable the firewall, do an update, and then we'll re-enable it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to advanced mode, and we're going to take a look at our personal firewall. And we're going to go ahead and disable filtering and run an update. Man, we still can't do it. Um, that's a little bit different from. Oh, I'm sorry, my network card was turned off. Hang on a sec. <laughs> I'm a big dope. It's kind of late. I got to this uh, pretty late tonight. I was working on my house. All right, let's go ahead and try it again. All right, there's our updates coming down now. And uh, I apologize to all my users with uh, low bandwidth. This is going to be kind of a long video. I don't really have a choice. This is a it's a different box, and it's a big security suite. Not that it's really hard to configure anything, it's just we have to do a little bit more. Which everybody will like. Except for uh, this one guy who always says my videos are too long. As Aslan, I think that's his name. And a few other guys. But I'm a partner, I'm going to use my time. There is a very, very nasty rootkit. ATI1 JAX.6 sys. Uh, ESET classifies it as a Win32 Wigon.ix Trojan. It says clean by deleting. I guarantee it's not going to go away. Alright, we'll go ahead and close that. Do I want to reboot now? No. Well, that's finding some fake alert stuff. Some worms. So I'm waiting for my update to come down. While that's coming down, let's go ahead and configure ESET for maximum detection. The real time, I'm going to go ahead and configure that. And this is real time file system protection. Uh, I have everything checked right here. I'm going to go into setup. I'm going to go ahead and scan for uh, runtime packers. Um, now that I've enabled my internet connection, I'm starting to get. Um, yes, I know starting to get a lot of pop-ups now. We're going to go ahead and use advanced heuristics and scan for potentially unsafe applications. And by default we are scanning using signatures, heuristics, advanced heuristics, adware, spyware, riskware, potentially unwanted applications, potentially unsafe applications. So we're scanning for all that stuff. And then I, I don't know if I said by default, but we're that, that's stuff I've turned on. Let's see. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use strict cleaning. Uh, sorry. In this, in this mode, the program will attempt to automatically clean and delete all infected files without user intervention. The only exception for system files, if they cannot be cleaned, an alert with a uh, list of options will be displayed. Okay. Go ahead and say OK to that. Uh, 
Uh, here's a few more options. We're going to go ahead and use advanced heuristics on file execution. Uh, this does affect computer performance. They do say that. Document protection. Same kind of thing. Potentially unsafe applications, strict cleaning. Gets kind of crazy around this point. As soon as we uh, disable that network card, uh, we'll be okay. Because what we have right now are a bunch of Trojans that are actively being downloaded. Um, as long as we don't crash, we should be alright. If we crash, pretty good chance uh, I ain't, I'm not going to be able to uh, get into this box. can be frustrating dealing with all these pop-ups from ESET, but I understand they're necessary. It's just popping up on the same... Let's see if I can minimize this. There, display notifications on desktop. All right, let's go take a look at our update. Okay, we don't need our net. We do not need our network card uh, running at this point. I'll just go ahead and turn it off. No. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead, it's been a long, I've had a long uh, recording here without a break, and I'm going to go ahead and do a custom scan. We're going to scan the entire PC. And after the scan is complete, I'll go ahead and run our SFC uh, check, our system file check, and replace any files that were uh, damaged by malware any uh, critical system files. We're going to scan in, in depth. Uh, local drives, we're just going to do our C drive. We're going to set it up. Strict cleaning, potentially unsafe applications. And that's it. I'll say, uh, I'll say OK. Yeah, man, this PC is being hammered right now. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and uh, as soon as this uh, gets unlocked, I'll be right back. Oh, I just had to come right back. I just wanted to show you this, and this is exactly what I thought. Um... It says Windows File Protection. Files that are required by Windows to run proper, properly have been replaced by unrecognized versions. To maintain system stability, Windows must restore the original files versions of these files. Uh, let me see if I have a Service Pack 2 CD around here. I think I do.
I'll try to get this to load inside this virtual machine here. Okay guys, uh, system file checker has kind of locked up here. It's been almost a half hour. So, what I hope to do, what I hope to do is reboot and we'll be able to log in. If we can't log in, then this whole review kind of morphs into resurrecting this machine with a bootable CD. Uh, I would copy good, good, uh, I would basically copy good files from my other workstation onto this PC, kind of overriding the bad files. Um, so we may, uh, we may learn a little something different here than just an ordinary re review. So let's go ahead and reboot and see what we get. And this thing was locked up pretty bad, so I'll probably have to just reset it. Okay, PC starting up. And if it is uh, corrupted, I will go ahead and stop this video. We'll call this part one. And uh, part two would be booting up with a uh, bootable anti malware disk and copying um, good files over the bad ones. This unfortunately is the nitty gritty part of my job where nothing is perfect and you always have to find all kinds of workarounds. Yeah, I just heard the Windows login music here. Let's see if we can get on. Mm, no, I can't log on. <laughs> if I click my logon picture here to try to log on, it'll log me right back off. So we've got some file repair to do and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that here in a few minutes. I'll go ahead and stop this video and we'll move on to part two which will be uh, repairing this computer that has ESET's smart security on it. Be right back.